camera. Can I start okay? Yep. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining tonight's post-game press conference following the 2-2 draw against LA Galaxy. We have head coach Bradley Carnell. He will begin with an opening statement, and we'll open the floor to questions after coach wraps up. So, coach, you've got the floor. Thanks, John. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Um, yeah, I think uh, you could see our intentions very early on in the game, uh, playing against a really good, informed team. Um, and I think you could see a really good dominant display from our boys. Uh, we go 2-0 up and uh, unfortunately Sam, you know, gets his second yellow card and, and that kind of derails us, uh, you know, from our concept a little bit. Um, but yeah, credit to the boys, we keep fighting. Um, and uh, yeah, we were challenged a lot today. Uh, you know, we were going to be challenged anyways, regardless, uh, in a normal regulation game. But now with a man down for a little more over 30 minutes, plus the nine minutes of stoppage time, uh, we were challenged in big ways, so proud of the boys for that. Um, but a little bit disappointed here that we leave only with one point. I thought, uh, you know, we could have seen out that game and, and found a way to, to get it over the line. So if I have to speak about disappointment, you know, small details make big differences, and, and, and that's what I'll leave here with. But, you know, at least we take a point. Thanks, Coach. We'll open the floor to questions. First one, Santiago. Bradley, can you hear me? Bradley at the beginning of the second half uh, with the inclusion, inclusion of Delgado uh, from LA Galaxy, they became a little bit more offensive. What did you see uh, at the beginning of the second half with Delgado going in? Yeah, he kind of just hung out in that little half space. Um, so, you know, we just had to find a new orientation point, a new reference point, and, and I thought for the most part we got hold of it and a grip on the game again. So, you know, we spoke about being compact during the game, and I thought for the most part that the boys stuck to the game plan really, really well. Um, and of course, they have quality, right? They're the best passing team in the league and, you know, one of the most informed teams in the West at the moment with us. So um, just, uh, yeah, it took us a while to get hold of that. But I thought once we got going again, uh, I thought it was fine. You know, we we have a chance, you know, early on in the, in the, in the first half to go 3-0 up. Unfortunately, Sam's a hair off sides. Um, but again, yeah, these were games here to be won and, and points to be taken. But, you know, we leave here with a point only. Next, we'll go to Tom Timmerman. Hey, Brad. Um, you just, you, I guess going into this game, you're probably okay. Getting one point would have been not the worst thing. But this is kind of just the way it all happened. This is kind of an emotional ringer for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, we get challenged in another way with, you know, we have to find a way to survive and, and yeah, ride out, you know, an onslaught of attacks. Onslaught of attacks and uh, unfortunately, yeah. Listen, small details. I said it in the in the opening statement. Unfortunately, small details got you know, uh, you know, let us go a little bit today. But you know, immense fight from the boys. You know, we take a point. Um, yeah. Listen, the way the game went and the domination we saw for 60 minutes, I thought it was a really good performance from us. Um, and I feel sorry for the boys to to be a you know knocked down like that and the wind taking out their sails. Andy, right, sorry, coming here late. Um, how you doing? Good to see you again. Uh, obviously, we talked about the integration of Klaus getting back into the team and, and what that meant for you guys just in the process of going through the Cup and whatnot. How exciting is it to see him, A, get back on the field, star, get the goal, but just that process of getting him back in and finally getting this one? Yeah, listen, I've seen it over the last couple of days in training, and uh, we, we, we adjusted his role slightly. So we had a little bit of a, a relationship between Sam and, and uh and uh, Klaus, um, you know, Klaus, you know, floating between the lines a little bit more, just like Joe Keeney would uh, with Klaus um, in the beginning of the season. So I thought we're getting back to who we were, you know, in the attack and nice and fluid. Um, but it was great to see Klaus back. I really enjoyed what I saw. Um, and again, it's not just his on the ball stuff. I think it's his against the ball stuff. He has numerous turnovers. He knows when to jump. He knows when to come back in the game. He knows when to organize the front group, when they should press, when they should not. So, yeah, he's... He played with, you know, a very mature head on his shoulders, and we're glad to have him back. I know you're probably not going to live too far into the future, but the regular season is coming to an end now, soon. Um, what is what is outlook for these next few games? Just the same approach, or are you guys kind of <coughs> hoping that you could get that number one spot and, and just keep it moving that way? Yeah, our process has never changed. You know, we, we, we you know we just want to get three points or, or points on the board um, right till the very end, and uh, I think it's important now. We have to just check, you know, 
Joachim, we've been demanding a lot from Joachim Nielsen as well. Uh, we had to bring him off tonight. Um, we hope it's you know not a setback. We just hope it's a precautionary move. Um, so we'll just have to see with that. But it's good to see everybody coming in and chipping out, or, or helping out and chipping in where where they can. So again, you know, the longer the season goes on, I think the more fluid we will become. Just as we were, you know, in the people's eyes, in the fans' eyes, as the first 11, 12 games. So the more pieces we have, I think the more comfortable we feel. Next, we go to Justin Horniker. And I wanted to ask about you know, Sam and Dendran's day, just because it goes from you know so good to so bad in such a short period of time. I mean, what are you what are you telling him in that moment of because he had that moment of brilliance earlier and then to make that mistake later in the game? I don't think a handball is a mistake. I mean, uh, I'm, yeah, I've been around in the game a long time, and and the more I'm in the game, I'm not sure what a handball is and isn't anymore. So. And that's not, you know, we're trying to put, we're trying to put pressure on the ball. We're trying to get our bodies in the way, and a handball is like, you know, these things happen in soccer, right? So, um, I don't, I don't blame anybody for those. You know, we just have to get other details right that that lead to that moment, and that's that's what bothers me more. Next, we go to Tom Shores. Hey, Brad. I know you're not happy about losing the lead or the points. But how brave were your team tonight? Yeah, very. I mean, I'm happy with the boys. I'm happy with the performance. I'm, you know, I'm just not happy with, yeah, not winning the game. I think we did enough to win the game and then we get derailed from the game plan. So, yeah, uh, again, the boys showed in the last three games on the road, you know, Orlando, Sporting KC, and now this one, I think we've had very similar performances. I've shown a lot of grit, a lot of desire, you know, a lot of organization and a lot of control in many moments. So. Yeah, we get the go-ahead goal um, in Sporting KC. It doesn't work out for us here. We get the go-ahead goal or, or you know, we get a 2-0 lead. Could have been three. Um, and then we get a red card, you know, and then we, we concede, you know, and some, some restarts. So, yeah, again, I, I'm, there's no blame game here going on. Next we go to Thiago. Hi, coach. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Thiago Brandão from Territorio Menas Brasil. Klaus scored the goal again today, and how do you see this return of the Brazilian player and his importance for the team for the rest of the year? Yeah, I think I don't have any words to give more credit than his show tonight. You know, I think you can see he's a guy who's getting back to fitness. You can see he's an important member of our team, and you could see some hunger to be back again. So, you know, uh, he's a big part of our team, um, as are all our other strikers. And you've seen throughout the season when we were missing Klaus, <clears throat> a lot of other players stepped up, so I'm very proud of Klaus today and his performance, um, and and glad he could you know make seventy five minutes. We'll wrap up with Tom. Yeah, Brad, just going back to, to Sam's offensive play, the the goal run that he's on right now, and he said two goals wiped out by fraction of an inch offsides calls. Uh, it seems just what he's bringing offensively and what you're going to miss when he's not can't play next week. Yeah, it's just a you know a different dynamic when you know he's six five and got tons of speed. It can run down the channels. You know he runs in behind, but again, you know we've seen it in in this system, plug and play. We've we've had multiple guys step up to the plate, and and we feel confident that we can just pick up like like Sam was never there. You know I think that's just what it is. We're gonna yeah for sure. He's a weapon starting and he's a weapon off the bench. But now we just have to you know give the other guys the the responsibility and the accountability. Um, and we move on from there. Houston's a you know tough game, and they're in good form too. So every road game we have, uh, these are coming up against teams that are all running in the in the playoffs at the moment. So yeah, points are tight on the road. You could see the results yesterday. Um, you know, so very fortunate, very happy to get to get a point here. But I don't think this was a lucky point. Um, I think there was more in in the bag tonight. Thank you, Brent. Coach, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thanks, guys. Next up, we'll bring out Klaus. He wants to unmute. Thank you. Okay, I'm mute right there. All right, guys, we got Klaus here. We're going to kick it off with Andy Diosa first and then Tom Timmerman. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, welcome back. It's been a, a long journey talking with Brad through the process of just getting you integrated. How do you feel physically? How does it feel to get the goal? Yeah, I mean, physically, feel much better. Uh, I mean, our sport scientists, they have been doing a lot of work with me, uh, extra work with me, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm happy with my, my performance today. Uh, it was better than the other games, but yeah, 
not happy with the final results yet. I'm always curious as a player that's injured or somewhat just a player that's taken out of the team after such a hot start. What did you see if you saw something watching from the sidelines, seeing how the team was progressing throughout the season, still keeping afloat top of the standings, but you're watching it and then you're thinking about like getting back to it? Yeah, I mean, the team improved a lot from, from the beginning. Uh, of course, uh, when you, you take maybe 25, 20 new players and put together, uh, they need time to, to get to know each other. Uh, but yeah, the boys, they were doing amazing in these four months. I think uh, if you see the table and you see that we are first in the league, this show a lot. But yeah, I mean, we, we still have a lot of things to, to improve, things to, to get better. And uh, yeah, we're going to work on that. Next, we go to Tom. Well, I was just, what's the feeling after a game like this? Early on, it looked like you guys were going to get the three points tonight, and then it all kind of swings there at the end, and then you're holding on at the end through nine minutes of stoppage time just to get the tie. What did it feel like out there tonight? Yeah, it's not the best feeling, honestly. Uh, I mean, we had the game in our hands and we, we have to, to learn how to, to control the game better in these situations. Uh, with 2-0 in half time, we cannot concede two goals in the second half. And uh, yeah, as you say, in the end of the game, uh, we were fighting for the tight and uh, with a game that we had 2-0 in front, we have to manage better. Next, we go to Justin Horniker. I just wanted to ask what it was like playing in that position today with Sam and Denaran and how that kind of felt between the two of you and your first kind of start together. I mean, really, really good. Uh, coach asked me to to come a little bit to ask to to find the game and uh, let some run in behind. And I think Sam is really strong on that. So I feel fine, you know, to, to come and... Uh, uh participate more to the creation of the game and let some uh running behind so i think work worked really well uh i think sam played amazing game as well so yeah i'm happy with with the performance in the position that they played next we go to tom schwartz you know at times tonight in the first half you guys were all on the same page let's just concentrate on that for a moment and tell me how that felt when all you guys were on song and the ball was moving like a pinball. Yeah, I feel uh, my feeling from the first half. I think the feeling for everyone was amazing. I think we played one of the best halves in the season. I think everything worked very well. Players they they were doing uh, the best. In, they were fighting for each ball, and that's how we should play every single game this is our philosophy this is uh, our principles and uh, yeah the, the i felt amazing after the first half but again uh, we have to get better in in the details of of the game and uh, yeah we cannot uh, tie these kind of games in this situation that we went to to half time next we go to tiago Boa noite, Klaus. Thiago Brandão aqui do Território Minas Brasil. É um prazer estar falando com você. Primeiro, te parabenizar pelo gol. É, depois de tanto tempo parado, eu quero saber como você está se sentindo em voltar a marcar, voltar a fazer gols. E também mais uma pergunta. É, já são quatro jogos que o Santos Luz não consegue vencer fora de casa e hoje acabou deixando escapar essa vitória. Como fazer para recuperar essa confiança e voltar a vencer longe de Santos Luz? Ok, so yeah. Uh, are you answering English, Thiago? They they ask me to do that. So uh, yeah, first I'm really happy to score after 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 this tough moment uh, in my career. Uh, I already explained about my injury. You guys know uh, it was my first that took so long. So I'm very happy with my performance today to be able to to help the team again. And uh, yeah, it's already four games that we, we cannot win uh, away games. But I mean, I think our if we concentrate on our performance in first half today, we we have done a great job. And uh, I mean, we have to 
to get better in the details and uh, be concentrating in the 90 minutes. Uh, this is a game that we really have to learn. Next, we go to Tom Timmerman. Uh, what can you say about the play of uh, Roman Berkey in goal? It seemed like he saved, he saved you guys. He got you this point in a big way. I mean, I don't have to talk about Roman. His performance talk to, to him, and uh, I mean, he's amazing keeper. He was, he's, I can, I can say he's one of the best keepers in the world. So, we know what Roman can do. Uh, he has been doing for the whole season. That's not new for us. We got time. For, we got time for one more if we have it. I've got one more. Go ahead. I was just saying, you remember, you remember, it's been since March since you scored. Do you remember, even remember your last goal? It must have been nice to finally get one. Yeah, sure. Uh, I told Lutz before the game, uh, I have kilos in my head, in my back. And uh, yeah, it's just like for a striker after this uh, four months out, uh, it was, was really important for my confidence. Uh, you guys know. Uh, Coming back from injury, my confidence was not uh, the best. And uh, I mean, uh, with this goal today and uh, my performance as well, uh, this, of course, gave me confidence for, for next games. Paul, thank, thank you for joining us. Thank we you guys. Appreciate that.